In this video, I'm going to show you how to give an injection. Remember to wash your hands before you start. Always inject into a visibly clean area. And remember, never inject through clothing. Most pen devices work in a similar way, and this video covers general principles for using pen devices. However, you should take time to also read the instructions supplied by the manufacturer of your specific medication. Speak to your doctor or nurse if you're worried about giving yourself an injection. They can suggest techniques or even devices that may help. All of the information in this video is available within the Injection Technique Matters Best Practice in Diabetes Care Toolkit. Ask your doctor or nurse for a copy. You should store unopened insulin and GLP-1 receptor agonist therapy in the fridge according to the manufacturer's instructions. It's really important to maintain insulin at the correct temperature for it to be effective. Extremes of temperature may render the insulin ineffective. Always store unopened insulin or GLP-1 medications in a fridge between 2 and 8 degrees. It's best to keep them in the door compartment away from the ice box. It's really important not allowing the medication to freeze. In-use insulin can usually be stored at room temperature for up to 28 days, but you should refer to the individual manufacturer's instructions. You should always check the expiry date on your pen before use. Also, read the label on your pen to check you have the right type of insulin. This is especially important if you are using two types of insulin, one designed for meal times and another type to give to cover overnight and between meals. Site selection. The preferred sites for injecting insulin or GLP-1 medications are across the abdomen, the upper outer area of the thighs, the upper outer area of the buttocks and the underside of the upper arms, though it's sometimes difficult to inject into the upper arm when you're doing the injection yourself. You can see on this diagram those areas for injecting. Site rotation. Repeatedly injecting insulin into one place can cause lipohypertrophy. This is thickened rubbery lesions which can appear over time in the subcutaneous tissue of overused injection sites. You can reduce your risk of developing these by trying to inject into a different place within your chosen site for every injection. It sometimes helps if you can imagine dividing the injection site you have chosen into halves or quadrants and then using a different half or quarter every week. During that week, you should try to rotate the injections within that area. One method is move injections in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, spacing each injection at least one centimeter apart from the previous one. It's really important that you inspect the site you have chosen to inject, checking for any lumpy areas or bruising before you inject and try to avoid those areas.